you keep that up, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and not come back. Uh, I just, I, I would like to thank everyone. Every, um, I was sort of hoping when I was invited, I think you should all know the story about my being invited to this race. It was back, I think, in January or February, and I, uh, the people at the, the Times Herald Record uh, contacted me, and I said, hey, I, never, I remember that paper. And they said, uh, uh, said that, that was the paper that was tabloids back when only things like the National Enquirer were tabloids. And, uh, but they've, they've changed, uh, I guess, the thinking of a lot of people. It's a very good paper. And they said, would you like to come back to our race? And I kind of hemmed and hawed because I wasn't in very good shape and I wasn't, wasn't really running too well. And I finally said, sure, I, I guess I'll come back. And then I, I got a call and uh, John called me up and, and said, oh, I think we better tell you something now that you've accepted that in the interim, we didn't hear from you for so long. We went and we invited Bill Rogers. And I, and I hope... I hope you don't mind. And I said, and I was thinking in the back of my mind, well, of course I mind, but what can I say? And, <laughs> and uh, so I guess it was, it's just a reflection. Middletown must be the kind of town when you come, come back to do something, they certainly don't set it up for you. Uh, the, the, way, the way it's been done, it, it reminded me of, of when I was running in Italy about five or six years ago, the last, at the last point where I was really running well and running consistently well. And I, I was winning some races in Italy, and I got invited back to run a series of road races with two other Italian runners who were very good runners. Uh, one fellow was named Franco Fava, and we, we went to his hometown. And they kind of came up to me before the race, and they said, well, you know, this is Italy and, and how it's done, and we'd sort of uh, appreciate it, uh, you know, if you'd uh, help Franco a little bit here since it's his hometown. And so I lost a 100-yard lead in the last half mile, and, and, and Franco won the race. And I'm just hoping if Bill did the same thing, he won't tell me until he's tell him about 65. You know, let me let me savor it for a while. Uh, don't don't delude me. But I would like to thank Bill for coming. It 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 wasn't his kind of day, obviously. And I I keep telling him that uh, don't worry. One of these days we'll run when it's 38 degrees and raining, and then he can then he can get me back. So I I would like to thank everybody for bringing. Uh, my, my whole family back. We got to come back and, and see all the relatives. Again, like I said, with the, with the media onslaught, local media onslaught of pressure and all my relatives showing up, uh, this is about the most pressure I'm going to have all year. So I'm very relieved that uh, things went well. And uh, I'm glad you all came, and I hope the United Way makes a lot of money. Uh, again, uh, little did I think when I was here on the Midway here being fleeced by all the carnies 20 years ago that I, that I think I'd ever come back that I think I'd ever come back here and, uh, and be in a race. Uh, but uh, it was fun, and I would, uh, again, like to, to thank the organizers. I thought it was very well put on. The course itself went, surprisingly, in a lot of the areas of town where I used to run when I was younger. Uh, I didn't run very much or very hard. I think I had an advantage now that you get older, but uh, it is good to be home because Middletown is my home, uh, both sides of my family grew up here, both my parents grew up here, and I have uh, grandparents that go back even long before any of us were around. So it was, it was good to come home, and uh, now I hope I can come home next year, but I, I promise, I can't promise that I'll win if I come back next year, but uh, I've won once, so hopefully that'll be enough. Thank you.